early life experiences can have profound, long-lasting consequences on later development. To reach their full potential, young children need to be exposed to warm, nurturing, and stable interactions with their caregivers. They need to be in an environment that stimulates their development. In Latin America and the Caribbean, home visiting programs have become an important policy tool to improve the quality of the home environment, especially for families in remote areas where poverty is high. Research from small pilots has shown that home visiting programs can have large and sustained impacts on child development. However, we don't know much about how to preserve fidelity and quality when implementing them at scale so that they can achieve the same types of impacts. As they continue to expand, home visiting programs need tools to monitor exactly what happens during these visits in order to achieve service quality. A few instruments are available to measure home visiting quality, but their administration can be very costly and complex. And this is a challenge for conducting frequent quality monitoring, especially in large scale programs with limited resources. There is therefore a need to develop tools that are simpler easy to collect and interpret, and that programs can use to capture key quality aspects of the services they provide. These tools can and should be used to support mentoring and in-service training and continuous quality improvements. To contribute to this knowledge gap, we conducted a study on Peru's home visiting program, Programa Nacional Cunamas. We compared two instruments to measure home visiting quality, the home visiting rating scales, or hovers, and a shorter checklist we adapted for Kunamas on the basis of existing checklists. The Hovers is the most commonly used instrument to measure home visiting quality in the United States. It focuses on the nature of the interactions between home visitor, caregiver, and child. Our objective was to analyze both instruments and identify a subset of items that could create the simplified tool for quality monitoring, a key component of the quality improvement cycle. To collect the data, the checklist was scored live by Kunama supervisors during the routine observations of a sample of 500 visits. Supervisors provide mentoring to home visitors and accompany them twice a month to observe their visits and give feedback. The hovers were scored on video recordings of the same visits by train coders. We found that what mattered the most were the relationships and interactions between home visitor, caregiver, and child especially the quality of the explanations and demonstrations provided by the home visitor and her skill engaging caregiver and child in the activity. This aspect of monitoring is crucial to ensure that the supervision of home visiting quality goes beyond a box ticking exercise that only focuses on whether a set of activities were implemented. On the basis of these findings, we propose a simplified checklist, a shorter, cost-efficient tool that programs can use to monitor critical quality aspects on a regular basis. We also propose that it serves as a mentoring tool that supervisors can use to provide real-time, detailed feedback to home visitors during their routine observations. I am Marta Dormal, one of the authors of this study, and I invite you to download our publication to find out more about this tool and how it could benefit home visiting programs in your area. Thank you very much.